hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers viewers and the world out there if you want to skip the intro there will be a timestamp below please keep in mind guys that the messages here on youtube are general meaning they're not going to resonate every time it's really about the title if there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message for you I like to say if you can feel it, then it's most likely your message. So if it hits you, okay, if the message does resonate, there is a link below in the description box for the extended version. That's how you get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings. There's also information below for the ritual kits that I offer for personal readings, the decks that I use, the tarot course offered, it's all linked below. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's jump right in. So this message is going to be for Libras inside of their mind reading for the month of December. And in this message, Libra, we're going to first jump into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person, and what's challenging this. Then we'll dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy with another deck. And in this portion of the message, we're going to look at their perception of you, their perception of the challenge, what they're not telling you, what their next move is going to be, and any advice, guidance moving forward. I'll clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So, Libra, see what we can see for your guys' energy. For the month of December, Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, Ace of Cups. Star energy, three of cups, justice, judgment. So Libra, there's an underlying energy of feeling broken inside, not enough. And I feel like it's coming from your person's energy. Okay, they're having the star with the temperance energy. This is a healing energy, patience, balance, okay? I feel like their focus is on healing, on finding an internal balance. And I feel, Libra, you'll really need to have patience with this person in order to see things come from this connection. Now, I feel like you're ready to move things forward offer this person love, but you're being called to be patient. I feel like this person may be withdrawn, seem distant. It's, it's because they're conflicted within. It's like they know that this is a good opportunity. They know you're a good person, but this isn't what they're used to. Okay. So let's clarify. We're going to start with the eight of pentacles, ace of cups for Libra's energy. And Libra, I feel like you're being called to kind of reevaluate this connection, okay? Be very practical with yourself in the present moment about them, about this. Is this something that you're going to want to endure for the long term? Even though this person is in a healing sense, in a healing vibe, is it fair to expect them to change? clarify the star with the temperance energy and I feel like you're going to need to have a lot of patience with this process if this is your person okay because this person is in a position where they're going through some deep intense healing and a lot of their time may be spent alone The challenge here, Libra, this Three of Cups, the Judgment, Justice, Energy, there's a reason why, okay? There's a reason for the delay. 
So you need to trust that. You need to trust that process and not try to push things forward. Um, because what I feel here, Libra, is coming to an understanding, okay, first and foremost, of yourself, what you need in a connection, but also um, learning a little bit about boundaries and how to set those boundaries with people, you know, um, timelines are going to be important. So how long are you willing to wait for this person to go through this healing process? And I know that we don't want to set ultimatums for people, but we have to keep people accountable. And if we just give people an unlimited amount of time or an unlimited number of chances, they'll keep taking. I feel here, Libra, and we're going to get a little bit deeper into this person's energy here, into their mind and see, but I feel like you may need to be a little bit firm with this person, okay? Um, because I do feel an energy of they don't want to lose a good thing, but right now they're taking their time. So let's look at this person's perception of you, Libra, in the present moment. If you find this message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. So Libra, Jesus swords two more cards out here for libra's person's perception of libra in the present moment okay so i feel like this person views you as nose to the grindstone views you as willing to wait the Ace of Swords tells me that they view you as very honest, very truthful. And I feel like they see this as potential here, as a potential connection, as a potential union. The challenge, what is this person's perception of the challenge? I feel like the challenge is their energy. Is um, this past sadness, this past hurt, And I feel like in the past, they were probably in a situation that was similar to your energy and it didn't turn out very well. And so now they're being very cautious, which isn't fair for you, Libra. It, it's just what it is. Okay. So knowing awareness is always the key. So knowing this person's energy and where they stand with the challenge, having an understanding that they are still withholding their energy because of how they're viewing past energy and what they're trying to protect themselves moving forward. Now, I'm not saying that's right. I'm simply saying that's what it is. They're simply trying to protect themselves from being hurt again. And that's why you're going to need patience with this person. So what are they not telling Libra in the present moment, Spirit, please and thank you? What is this person not telling Libra? I feel like this person may have a hard time committing to relationships. This person is having a hard time um, accepting a long-term commitment. And I also feel here, Libra, that they they know this is a problem. They know this is a problem. It's why they're just trying to push through this energy or why they're, they may even try to ignore um that they have commitment issues for some of you they may not be aware they may not be aware of these commitment issues so what's the next move going to be here for libra and this person in this energy please and thank you the next move here i feel like this wall is up 
I feel like your person is taking some time by themselves. I feel like you may be taking some time by yourself with this energy. Um, I don't feel like you guys are communicating very well in the present moment, okay? So you both are kind of holding back, both guarded, both in a process of healing, focusing on self. I do feel here that your person is distant. And I don't feel like this is going to be changing um, very soon. I feel like they're in an energy of healing. They're going to be there for a while. So Libra, let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward in this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. And in the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies. We're going to see what the next move is going to be. The outcome, if the advice is followed, I'll pull out a few different Oracle decks. It's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. Libra. What I feel is going on is almost as if you may be in a rush to get in a relationship. And I feel here this is something you need to pay attention to because you may be ignoring red flags in the present moment. What I feel Libra need to say, we have the five of coins, the empress in reverse and the sun in the reverse. So you need to be mindful in the present moment of just blindly pushing forward. If this person needs space or wants space, give them space. Um, try to have an understanding. I'm going to need to have communication, getting on the same page. Otherwise, this isn't going to turn out very positively. I feel like where this is headed, you both having your guard up, you both blocking each other out, not communicating, not being on the same page, it's eventually going to end the same way you have ended in the past. And your person is in an energy where they're going to be very distant anyway. So then when this disconnect happens, it's gonna definitely, you're going to feel that energetic shift. You need to pay attention to what makes you feel stable, what makes you feel calm. I know a lot of people say that stability, um, sometimes they interpret that as boring, but I feel like that needs to be, that mindset kind of needs to be shifted because stability isn't boring. You sitting around your house with your bills paid and your lights on, you may perceive that as boring um, for a person who likes to go out and do things a lot, but that's actually stable. That's stable. For a lot of people, that's stable. And it's a good starting point, okay? When you go through, especially your person, when they're going through a healing process, the first step to understanding the normalized lifestyle is stability. So that could be where their mindset is at, Libra. And you have a choice to make. You can wait and see how this plays out or you can move forward from this person. I feel here, Libra, the focus needs to be your own stability. So what do you feel? Who do you feel the most stable and secure around? Okay, where do you feel the most stable and secure? Not where you feel anxious, nervous, scared. All of those feelings are actually your body warning you that this might not be the person. So Libra, your soul journey message coming out is blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. It is so easy to give away the power to transform your life. Certainly there have been people along your path who shaped you into who you are, but you're solely responsible for your own happiness. 
the ego can be a fragile thing and if it comes under fire the first instinct is to blame an outside force victim consciousness weakens the connection you have to your soul this mindset says i don't have the power inside of myself to break free because someone else's power is stronger this is an illusion when you believe that someone else is responsible for your problems that belief is the problem personal responsibility can empower you to change your reality lasting transformation always begins on the inside and works its way out there is a difference between a reason and an excuse a reason is valid and unavoidable an excuse is an attempt to shift the blame There may be a need for somebody here within this message to be accountable for their actions, their past actions. It's not going to be present with this person, okay? There's a healing vibe that needs to take place. It could be your person, Libra, that needs to be accountable for whatever they've done in the past and they're having a hard time doing so. But understand, that's the beginning point of transformation, is accepting responsibility being aware of your actions and also being accountable for those actions will help to transform your life your blessing message here is i am safe it's only change i cross all bridges with joy and ease the old unfolds into wonderful new experiences my life gets better all the time beautiful beautiful so libra i feel like that's a good solid message coming out Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. The tarot course that I've put together for you guys, it's also linked down there. Otherwise, thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.